my channel. I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, if you're new here, and I have a very exciting video planned for us all today. This is a little hint because I'm going to be doing my top five books of 2017. So these are going to be the five favorite books that I read last year. I actually took part in this Goodreads challenge. It's an app that I'll be talking to you about pretty soon, but you get to basically pick how many books you want to read that year and set a goal for yourself. So last year I chose 20 books and I actually completed that challenge, so I'm really excited. So these are the five best books out of the 20 books that I read last year, and I read a lot of really good books, so this was actually quite hard to do. Now before I get started and share those books with you, I'm just going to quickly mention the app Goodreads. Now I'm not sponsored to say this, so you know that I'm sharing this information because I really want to, and if you haven't heard of it, it's it's basically a place where you can log all the books that you've ever read in your life and you can even take part in this challenge that is called the 2018 Goodreads Challenge this year for example and you can pick how many books you want to read and you can set your goal and by the end of the year if you've completed it that's great and then all your books are logged and you can see how you've rated your books you can see other people's reviews so it's really helpful in choosing books as well so last year I did 20 books and this year my new goal is 25 books so I'm excited to take part in that challenge as well and the best part about Goodreads is that you can see based on other fellow readers what their ratings are if they liked a book and basically you have five stars so it's a five star system so out of five you get to rate the book after you finish reading it and you can even write a mini review and all these books that I'm sharing with you I feel like the general consensus from all the other fellow readers is that they are at least a four star and above which is an amazing rating and I'm pretty sure I've rated most of these books I've rated them five stars since I've left all these books pretty much equally, I think the order that I'm going to be sharing them with is just the order in which I read them. So I read a lot of great books last year and I'm very excited to be sharing my top five favorite books. Now the book It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover was a great read for me. I actually think that it was one of my truly top favorite books. I think this would be like my first or second pick for like my top five books all in all. And it is so hard to describe to you without giving it away because there's like a major plot twist that takes place and it is just incredible. But it's basically the story about the main character, Lily, and kind of her romances that she's having with almost two men in a way, one from her present and one from her past. And it is just a beautiful story. It is such a deep story. I kind of thought based on the cover and almost the, the plot synopsis, it didn't sound that great, but it had such high ratings on this app. So I said, I have to give it a try. And I think me and my both my sisters, we read this book and we all read it at the same time and we just loved it. So it was great to be able to talk with them after as well and share, oh my God, can you believe this happened? And because so many exciting things happened, but by no means was this a boring book. There was like not a dull moment at all. This was definitely a page turner. I found that every time I would sit down to read, even if I would say, okay, I'm only going to be reading 20 pages tonight. I would end up reading 100 pages almost every single night. So it's very difficult, obviously, to talk about this without giving much away. But this was sort of, it was a beautiful story really displaying how strong this woman was and just the courage that it took for her to make certain decisions in her life and about the beautiful romances that she made and how not everything is black and white in life. There's a lot of difficult decisions that we might have to face without even realizing it. And I just thought she was such an amazing character. I really fell in love with all the characters in the book. They were so complex. Whenever something crazy happened, you're thinking, wow, I really didn't see this coming by any means whatsoever. And it just, that's what made it that much more juicy and exciting to read. It was definitely a page turner, but it was filled with a lot of heart, a lot of emotion, and it dealt with serious subject matters as well. This was really a great book and I highly recommend it. If you want the kind of book that is going to make you read and you'll get through this book probably in like not even a week definitely pick this book up and read it you will enjoy it trust me on this one this I can stand by 100% everyone I know who has read this has loved it so definitely pick up Colleen Hoover's book she also has a lot of other great ones as well but this has to be my favorite The movie did come out last year, which is why it gave me the sort of spark to decide to pick up this book and finally give it a read. I've been seeing a lot of good ratings on this book, so I decided why not read it before I actually see the movie, and this book was something that was so sweet and precious to me, and it really meant a lot to me, and this was called A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. Now this book was such a great book because me as a dog lover, I really could 
just relate to everything that they were talking about. I feel like the author did an amazing job in really describing a dog's emotions and feelings. And I know that might sound weird because you're thinking, how would you know? But at the time, I still had my little summer around. So just reading about how this dog felt because it was in the dog's perspective, I was just thinking, wow, if Summer could talk to me, this is probably like how she would speak and what she would say. But this book is basically about a dog's purpose in life. The name kind of gives it all away. It is kind of like, sometimes we think their, their lives are so short. Like what is the purpose of their little sweet lives? They're filled with so much soul and so much emotion. So this book kind of goes through the story of, it focuses on the relationship of this main character and this dog who they share like a great love and a beautiful bond and eventually when this dog passes away every single time it passes away because it is the story of a dog being reborn so it is the same little soul but it's reborn into a different dog's body so sometimes it can be a little tiny pup and have a short life sometimes it can be a big dog and have a super long life so it just depends on the specific circumstances and you get to read a little bit about this dog's story at one point this dog was reincarnated into a police dog so that was interesting to read as well this was just such a beautiful story and I can really relate to the specific characters that the book focuses on so I don't want to give too much away because there's something that happens that like if I say too much it'll be ruined but it was just such an amazing read and I just loved it if you're a dog lover you need to put this book on your list even if you don't believe these kind of things I mean I don't think I personally believe that like when a dog passes away it will be reincarnated into another dog and it might even find you another life I'm not sure if I believe things like that but either way I love reading about ideas and things that could happen even regarding the afterlife so this was just a very interesting and great read and i highly recommend it if you are like i said a dog lover or even if you're not if you're someone who has a heart i think you'd really enjoy this book it is such a sweet and touching story and i saw the movie as well and that was beautiful but there's just something about a book that is just so i don't know just reading about things just gives you that that it just touches you that much deeper so i really recommend this book as well The next book I will be talking to you about is almost a cheat because it is technically a series so there are three books and the last one did come out last year so it is a very new series. If you're the kind of person who loves reading these juicy fantasy-esque series you will love this series. This was probably one of my favorite book series that I've ever read and I have to say that the second book was even better. So this is the series called A Court of Thorn and Roses and this is by the author Sarah J. Mass or Moss. I don't know how she would say that. My favorite book from the series and I I would highly recommend reading this obviously after the first one my favorite book was a court of mist and fury now this is the second book in the three-part series so the first book was phenomenal but the second book was that much more exciting to read and that is such a great thing when it comes to a book series is having the second book being even better than the first one there was a crazy twist that i just never saw coming and i can't picture the book any other way and i feel like the romance between these characters in the second book was like the best one of the best romances that I've ever read it was so beautiful and steamy and just perfect so I love this book series so it's quite difficult to describe because it is a fantasy type book and it does take place in like a dystopian society so it's just I don't know it's really good without giving too much away I just wanted to say that it is about a character named Feyre and her name is kind of you could read it almost as fairy and this has to do with fairies so it was a little bit confusing for me as well but basically she is a girl who well she is a human who finds herself in this sort of fairy-like realm by chance by certain circumstances that happen to her so from everything that takes place in the first one when you're finally used to all the characters and all the whimsicalness the second one takes place and it's just boom it's just so exciting it takes off from there i can't really describe this book because i don't think i would do it justice so definitely look into this book and let me know if you've read it and loved it as well i feel like this book has a whole cult favorite number three was also really good but I just felt like the second one was so great and it doesn't surprise me at all to see that this is what the readers chose on Goodreads as the number one favorite book of 2016 for this specific genre. So I'm very happy to share this book with you. I know that it might not be everyone's cup of tea at first because you might not want to read about these kind of weird fairy-esque things but I have to say one of my favorite things about reading is the fact that it is the greatest form of escapism. So after dealing with your just everyday life you can kind of pick up a book and it will take you to another realm and another world completely and that is just what this book did for me and that is why this book is so special to me and it is one of the best series of its kind that I've personally found myself. 
So yes, it was quite hard to talk about the second book in a series without talking too much about the first one because that would give a lot of information away. But trust me on this one, guys, you will really love this book. If you're new to series, give it a try. I have to say that after reading a series, it just becomes addictive. And I often find that after I read single books, I'm thinking, okay, I need to start reading a series now because I need something that keeps me addicted to reading. And that's what series do for me. I feel like they're such page turners and they're just great books to pick up and read when you want to get lost in a good book. So I highly recommend this book. Now this next book is called Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. Now when I go back and I look at this book, for some reason the cover page doesn't strike me as something phenomenal. I mean it is a beautiful cover but it doesn't strike me as, as the kind of book that I read and was like wow this is such an amazing book. So I had to go back and read what I wrote about this book and then I was like oh my god yes this is one of my favorite books of last year. It was such an interesting way of telling a love story really. It is basically a story within a story. So as the main character reads this story in the book, she kind of realizes that it is the story about her and it is written by her old flame. I'm pretty sure I can say that without giving anything away because it just gets, there's a lot more twists and turns along the way, but it is such an amazing story. And I found that I couldn't put this one down and I just became really invested in the characters and I really wanted to know what happened with them. And if I have one bad thing to say, it is just how long it took this girl to read the story because I couldn't have done that. I mean, it almost took her forever. And I was thinking, if this is a story about you, don't you want to get to the bottom of it? So that was the one thing that drove me crazy about this book. But I have to say it was such an amazing story. It was such a good read and I just absolutely loved it. The way that the author wrote the male character in this book just made him so lovable and so interesting and it was so complex with so many layers. It almost reminded me a little bit of the first book that I spoke about. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover because there's a character in that book as well and they kind of, I mean, they almost remind me of each other in a way. It's really weird and I think that's why I love this one so much was because the way these two authors write their characters just make them so lovable and they fill them with so much depth and so much purpose and you just can't help but wanting to read more and know about them more because you become so invested in their lives and in their stories. So this was a great book and I really loved it and I think that you guys will love this story as well. It was so sweet and beautiful and just, it was so justified and I just love books like that. I love books that are just, you know, they fill you with so much like warmth and just like love while you're reading this. You know, you just can't help but root for the main characters. So if you want a book that is just a really deep and sweet story and it is just a standalone book but it will just really stick with you long after you've read it, this is definitely the book for you. I can't believe we're already at the final book. I feel like this has gone by so fast, but my final book is called Where One Goes by B. N. Toller. Now this book was a book that I really wanted to read after I dealt with obviously the very difficult death of my dog. I sort of found that I was searching books that dealt with that specific subject matter, but then I was thinking, I don't want to read something like that. I don't want to be reminded of that. I really wanted just a completely unique and interesting book to take my mind off things as well because as I said reading is a great form of escapism and it can really help you a lot of the time dealing with your problems by indirectly dealing with your problems. So I just felt like this book was such a sweet book and it was so meaningful at that specific point in my life and this book does deal with death as its subject matter so it was interesting and I love reading these kind of books because I love to hear a different author's take or perspective on what they think the afterlife would be about because we don't know what it's going to be about when one passes away. So I'd like to read other people's ideas and, and see how they would tell that sort of story, that ultimate untold story. I'd like to hear what people think about that. So this was a really great book for me and it really stood out in my mind as one of my favorite books of the year because of that specific purpose. The way that the author told the story was so interesting and so intriguing. So without giving too much away, I will tell you a little bit about the book because it will help you and it will probably interest you in wanting to read it. So this was basically about the main character named Charlotte and she has the special ability after her brother passes away. She is able to deal with death in a unique way because she can see, hear, and speak so she can interact with people who have passed away. And she speaks to them for a specific purpose in helping their souls cross over. So basically, when someone passes away in this book, if they have had a bad death or unfinished business where certain family members maybe can't get over it or they can't get over how they passed away, Char ends up seeing certain people, Char Charlotte, that's what she's called. She ends up seeing certain people in the book and she's able to talk to them and maybe even solve, help solve their case or help them cross over by dealing with certain family members as well who have a difficult time in letting go. So basically these characters 
characters, they might be on Earth for a couple months, two years, if they can't cross over to the other side because certain family members can't let them go. So once she helps them deal with that and helps them cross over, they pass on and they cross over and she no longer is able to hear them or speak with them or see them. So it is such an interesting book and there is a love story in it and it is such a complicated and juicy love story because it's almost like you know you expect certain things and you don't expect certain things it's just such a great read and i will say that i really loved the characters george and ike in it i love the character ike in the book so much he's such a sweet character and it's just it's the kind of book that sticks with you because it's such an unusual story and it is told in like such an unusual way that you kind of remember it after you read it. it's the kind of book that you're like yep yeah, i remember reading that even if you've read 100 books that one will stick out in your mind as just a really good read so i have to say that that was one of my favorite reads from last year as well and I think that if you're looking for something new and if you're if you're open to these kind of new ideas and new ways of thinking I mean I love all these books so definitely give that book a try so those are my top five favorite books of last year now those books didn't necessarily come out last year but I read them last year and I love them so much and I wanted to share them with you this video really just flew by for me so I'm wondering if you guys feel the same way as well I hope that I did justice in talking about these books I didn't want to give too much away about the storyline or the plot because I would hate to spoil a book for you guys before you decided to read it and if you've read a book that you think that I will like based on my favorites I think you can tell that my favorite genre is fiction and I also love fantasy or anything dealing with romance as well so if you've read a book that you think I'll like please let me know in the comments down below I'm currently reading a book called call me by your name it's kind of funny because normally I would never want to read a book after I've seen the movie I'm always a book first then movie second kind of person but I watched this movie and I absolutely fell in love with it so I'm currently reading that book as well and I really like it so since I'm doing a challenge of 25 books for this year I will definitely be doing a video next year if you like this one on my top five favorite books as well so please give me a thumbs up so I can know if you guys like these kind of videos as well. This was very fun for me to film and I really hope that you enjoyed the books that I shared and if you do end up reading one of these books, come back to my channel and let me know. I would really love that. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm very new to YouTube so every single subscriber is just like so exciting for me. If I get one new subscriber a day, it's like, woo, like you know, it makes my day. So thank you guys so much and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so I know that you guys are interested in these kind of videos in the future. So I will just say bye for now and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!